And then we run under this guy. We can get the yellow one. And we got the yellow gemstone and we can go get, you know, the other thing from that tiger statue, which actually I'm gonna go do right now. In the right area anyway. Yep, see that body's gone. I just wanted to see how uh, powerful that was. Yeah. All right. Original game it was red and uh, blue eyes will you take the mo disc very important um if you want the best ending or if you know the good ending you need that and it's not very fun to get almost to the end and go ah fuck I forgot that thing all the way back there I, I can't I can't I can't go back there I guess I get the bad ending well then so with this I'm gonna put it all the way down here I'm gonna put this up here in the regulars. Let's see. It's only that. I don't really need that. I'm going to put. Oh, do I want the regular or the fire? I'm gonna put the fire in there just because. Zambam. Well, no. The regular. I have more shots. Um. Emblem key, I'm gonna need that. Okay, I'm gonna save. You can see how I racked up 18 saves in that one thing up there. Oh, that's why I'm being even more cautious. Think about it. <laughs> That's all I need right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a shortcut back to um, where the Spencer emblem key goes. Just cause it's easier to do it that way. Still not going back in that hallway. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Normally in a speedrun, you don't have to worry about crimson heads all too much on lower difficulties because they do take longer to turn to crimson heads um, on the lower difficulties. On the higher difficulties, it's it can get ridiculously quickly. Like you just enter a room that has a corpse in it and you're like, oh shit, 
Well, I guess I'm gonna be fighting a crimson head. So far, I don't think I've really fought that. I don't think so. Except for uh, the prototype guy, which I don't think he really counts because he's a boss and you gotta fight him. But, you know. key, no further use, discard, yes. Alright, let's go in here. Interesting door. Too dark to see anything. Switch, press it, yes. And there's light! Contents are still intact, maybe no one's been in here. I will take the metal object. Obviously, we're missing the stone part. Because we did get a stone and metal object. But we're missing something. All of them are biology related. Guess that's all. I think there's even a cup of tea still there. Yeah, look at that. Not long at all. All right. That's all we needed in there. Gonna go to this storeroom or save room. Technically, it is a storeroom. Now, I do believe there is a hunter on the upper floor. I just haven't triggered him yet. And I have to keep it that way. I'm gonna put this down here. Maybe there's not another one. Nope! Only one! Okay. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. The merry crackling. That. Use the helmet key. Let's go in there. Now, if I remember correctly, this might be the room... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this room... I don't need a weapon in here. This room is one that... There are severe problems with the, uh... Alternate controls. And doing the puzzle in here. Just because if you get caught in between those walls, you die. So... This, uh, statue protects you.
and you have to push it really, really quickly. Bear, God, hate this room. We'll take the battery pack, thank you. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it though. Go down. I'll be a normal survival horror protagonist. Of course I'm gonna jump into it. A la James Sunderland. Uh, let's see. Will you take the last book? Volume 1. Sure will. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. A medal was hidden inside the book. There's a special way to use it? There sure is. We can't do it right now, but we have it. Oh, uh, November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. It's George Trevor. Um, I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere at the laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde in those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica! I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I, I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave! Like, deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything's becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. The name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. Press it. Yep. No, I didn't need to kill that. I just wanted to. Map of the mansion basement. I will take that. Thank you. Shell of a molding spider. I'm actually more interested in the shotgun shells. Thank you. Stop twitching! God, it's gross! Come on, I have to get you. Stab him! There. That was worth it. I should just let him do that from now on. Yes, I know, I'm talking about letting the things grab me to bite me. But I have daggers. I'll be fine. 